I know the other team members are in the office a few days a week. Is that something we can negotiate? What's your ideal scenario? Hmm, good question. Honestly, I haven't even thought about that. If there's one requirement that's most important to modern job seekers, it's flexibility. And who can blame them? If you've had the chance to move to the beat of your own drum with work, it's kind of hard to stop playing that tune. Employers know that candidates value flexibility, so they won't be surprised when you start asking questions about that in the interview. The key for you is to be strategic and prepared. Let's see some negotiations in action. We're so excited to offer you the role. As we discussed, we're in a hybrid environment. Everyone's in-house days are selected for them, and yours are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Wow, I really want to take this job, but a rigid schedule like that just doesn't work for me. I'm happy to come in when it makes sense, but just not on a set schedule. What do you think? I get it. Flexibility is important to Amy. She wants to be able to choose which days she comes in based on her schedule and responsibilities at home. But her approach wasn't effective. She was too narrow-minded and didn't include any alternative suggestions. Let's try it again. Thank you for this opportunity. I did want to discuss the set days with you. I can come in on Mondays, but I'm hoping to have more flexibility on those other days and decide those on a week-to-week -week basis. Given my childcare responsibilities at home, having flexibility in my schedule is really crucial to being able to find balance and success in it all. Of course, when there's a team meeting or situations that require me to be in person, I'll be there. Is this flexibility something we can incorporate in my offer? Way better. This response rocked for a few reasons. She was firm without being entitled. She included a specific suggestion for how she could compromise on the arrangement. And it doesn't hurt that she clearly laid out why her proposed solution was in the best interest for the company too. Now, what happens when you know what you want, but the company doesn't have an official stance on flexibility yet? Let's find out. Hi, Amy. Just giving you a quick call to confirm the offer letters in your inbox. Are there any remaining questions for me? Yes. Oh, well, that's super exciting. I do have a quick question for you. You mentioned in one of our earlier conversations there isn't an official return to work plan for the organization. I gotta be honest, that makes me a little uncomfortable. Do you have any updates? That ambiguity would make me uncomfortable too. And to be most effective, Amy should be crystal clear with her questions and concerns about the return to work plan. She should explain why having answers is a priority for her before signing the offer. Let's see what this sounds like. Are there any remaining questions you have for me? Thank you, I'm so excited. I do have a question for you. You mentioned earlier you haven't ironed out all the details on remote work. Are there any updates on how exactly you'll approach the return to office? No, unfortunately, we're still working on that. Why? What's on your mind? Well, I asked because remote work is a priority for me, and I'm concerned that the requirements may change as your plans evolve. I don't live nearby, and making a long commute will be challenging for me on a regular basis. Do you know when you expect to have a policy in place and how employees' preferences will be prioritized? Yes, Amy, this exchange was super professional. She struck a balance between firm and flexible about her preferences and asked a really smart follow-up question. Depending on how she answers, she'll get a sense of whether her values are aligned with theirs. While this moment might not expedite the company's official return to work announcement, it will give Amy the clarity she needs to make a decision about the job. Flexibility isn't just about where you work, it's also about when you work. Let's see how a job seeker can negotiate their hours. Is there anything else you want to discuss before signing the offer? The team can't wait to have you. Yes, I want to discuss flexibility in my hours. Is this something we can negotiate in my contract? I always get my work done, of course, but I'm hoping to structure my day in a way that works best for me. So, this is totally fair game to negotiate, but not like this. Instead, when you're negotiating the structure of your hours, you want to focus on why it works for them and why it makes sense given your job description. Amy also didn't explain what kind of hours she's suggesting, and that could be concerning to a hiring manager. Let's run it back. 
Thank you for asking. I would love to explore what flexible work hours would look like in this role. Given that so much of my role is independent focus work, I'd love the flexibility to be able to work later in the evening rather than early in the morning. I found that I do my best work late at night, and I think arranging this in my contract would really unlock my potential in this role. Like the other scenarios we've gone through, this negotiation is effective because Amy talked about why her flexible hours are good for the company. She also didn't talk about what she would do during her off hours, which is smart. Bottom line, if flexibility is important to you, you should absolutely negotiate once you have your offer. And make sure you get it in writing. Do not assume that you're on the same page without it written in your contract. Unspoken agreements are a recipe for disappointment and resentment on both sides. Uh, I'm not worried about you though. Armed with this knowledge, you'll approach these conversations with strategy and confidence. Make sure to like and subscribe for more interview tips and tricks. Do you know when you expect to have a policy in place and how employees' preferences will be prioritized? <laughs> prioritized? Do you know when you expect to have a policy in place and how employees' preferences will be prioritized? <laughs>